Hi YouTube, I'm going to do three videos. Um, video one, I'm going to talk about the international uh, head, how can you can tell if you have an international head on a 12 album covens. Video number two, I'm going to talk about the difference between a 47RH and a 47RE. And video number three, I'm going to kind of touch base on uh, hooking up Adreno to control the 47RH fourth uh, fourth gear and torque converter lockup so this being video number one i'm going to be talking about the how can you tell if you have a dodge cummins or not a dodge cummins an international head on your 12 valve cummins all right so here's the front of the motor the fan would typically go right here okay it's very easy with it off just walk right back to the very back right in between your last valve cover and your second to last one if you look straight down there, now it'll probably be covered with some oil and stuff like this one is. But right there, if you look at that, that is the international logo. Um, if you type in international logo, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. How it has the two triangles and then the one thin one that in the middle. So that is an international, that's a newer international logo. Don't get be confused with the IH logo. Um, that's the IH logo. That's, like I said, that's the newer one that's where you find it um, you can also have an international block that will be behind the timing cover and uh, not only this but you also got to take this off so you got to take off the cam and all that stuff to see it you might be able to get a, a phone in there um, behind some of the stuff I don't believe you can but you might be able to I don't know everything on these motors I just know a little bit um, so if you guys have any questions, maybe I can answer them. If I can't, well, I'll just simply say I can't answer it. I don't want to claim to know something I don't. But I do hope this helps you identifying if you have an international head. Um, and also, I will touch and say that the international block, if you do by chance have an international block, and you do find out you do, um, you definitely want to make sure that you keep up on the coolant because... It's, don't get me don't be mistaken for the 53 block but the international block because international did make one um on the international block the water jets are a little bit or the water uh for the coolant passages they're a little bit thinner than the cummins the dodge uh made one so you pretty much just want to make sure that you keep the temperature down allows the pressure to stay lower in the water uh jacket holes so it doesn't crack in there and you don't see water in your oil. Um, I hope this helps. hope that gives you a little bit of insight on them. Um, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please comment.